Okay, I went out to the barn and I have two, there was two milk cans out there. It's pretty large. And this is one style. There's a different style that's out there and I brought this one up and I rinsed it off and scrubbed it down some and I was gonna paint it and put something on it, but I really am thinking now I'm gonna leave it the natural state it's in. I think what I'll do is right here in the middle is stencil something on it that's that would fit it because I really don't want to change it. I want to leave it the original rusty look color. Oh, there goes chicken. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to show it to you before I got started on it. And I'll go in on my Silhouette Studio and design, design something to go on it. I don't know, I might find something that's already on there or take bits and pieces or, I really don't know what I want on it yet, but something more fitting to a milk can, an old milk can. Instead of painting it up and writing welcome on it or, you know, our name or something like that, I want to leave it in its original state. And I wanted to show it to you before I did anything to it, other than washing it down. All right, that's where I'm going to start with the milk can. This is the uh, pattern I have decided to put on the milk can. It was actually this one right here with the cow. And I just ungrouped it and removed the cow. Enlarged it. And then I put, as you can see, there's only one of the flourishes. And it was on the bottom. I just copy and pasted and then turned it over and put it on top. And now I'm going to send it to my cutter and cut it out so I can get it on the milk can. Okay, trying to maneuver and put a place for this to stay. I've got the, oh, that's coming up. My chair's turning, this is a heavy can. Be careful not to let the paint go under the stencil. This is the best shot I could get, guys. I can tell it's... Whoa. Okay, got that down on there. I'm gonna have to be careful in spots, but I don't want a heavy coating because I want it to look like it's been on there for a while. So it should, I just want it on faintly. Not a heavy coat. And I don't want it going under the lines. All right, I have it all on, so I thought I'd turn it, turn the camera back on when we pull this off so we can both, we can all see what it's gonna look like.
And I have dogs under my feet, of course. Okay. And this, uh, this here that I use, it's just a mechanical pen that I took the uh, lead out of. I've used it for years. Took the lead out of it, out of it, and got a needle and super glued it in. And it works very well for weeding. And it was cheap. And I'll probably take a little bit of fine sandpaper and kind of go over the lettering so it's a little, just a little more faint. Some of it is pretty faint. Like it's been on there a while. That's the look I was going for. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can get a close up from this side. Can't really tell what I'm getting. stuff in the way. I can't really get down to it all. Let's see, maybe I'll lift it up some. Oh. Okay. I'll get it I'll get you a better look when it's down on the floor. Alright, here it is finished. I did take a um, just a sanding block from the Dollar Tree and kind of went over it a bit. And it turned out just the way I wanted it because it left the can natural. And I put something on there that might have been on there years ago. I don't know. I'll get a little bit of a close-up so you can see a lot of it's... And my dog's behind me panting, of course. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next one.